Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm going to go over a powerful concept that came across here recently. It involves a deck of playing cards. It involves your finances. It involves cash. It involves assets. I think you're going to really enjoy it. So just stay tuned. And if you hear any typing in the background, that's just Allie. You know, she stays working. Hey, Allie. No days off, right? Well, hey, looking at a deck of playing cards, you're going to see two things. You're going to see that there's numbered cards, like these right here. You're going to see that there's jacks. You're going to see that there's queens, like Ali. You're going to see that there's kings, like myself. I had to say that. Then you're going to see there's aces. And you got your jokers, of course, your wild cards. Now, your numbered cards right here, they don't really have any value. You know, they basically just help you stay in the game, in the game and that's all they do. But your face cards like these right here, they usually have all the value and they usually win the game for you, right? Now, looking at your finances, you usually have cash and you have assets. And there's five primary asset classes that they really don't teach you in school, but that's what I'm here for. And this is the reason why most people aren't playing with that full deck of cards. Okay, because they only know really about one primary asset class. All right. So here's the five primary asset classes. And I'm just going to read them off here. I got some notes here. So you got stocks. That's the ownership of companies like IBM and Microsoft. You got bonds. That's debts owed to you, like corporate bonds, municipal bonds, things like that. You got real estate. That's commercial buildings, land, homes, things like that. And you got commodities. That's foreign currency natural resources like uh, oil and precious metals like gold and then you have businesses so you have business systems these are basically they work for you okay so they provide customers with goods and services for profit and cash is also an asset because it holds value and it can be traded in the future for something of value but think of the cash as the numbered cards in the deck they basically just keep you in the game you know, they're not going to win the game for you, though. That's the problem. The other five asset classes, they have the potential to grow in value. And they usually are what is going to make you wealthy. So to stack the deck in your favor, you have to increase your assets, not your cash. Okay? So just think about that concept. Now, the problem is most Americans have a ton of cash. Okay? They look at, If you look at it, look at this okay you got way more cash than you do assets okay so how do you acquire assets if you have just a little bit of cash here going to pay the rent a little bit of cash here going to pay the bills a little bit of cash here going to put clothes on your back and then you know your last bit of cash going to put food on the table what's the money left so that you can invest in gold and oil and foreign currency and bonds and stocks right well there's a simple solution that we found that's working for us it's called income shifting okay and i'm glad that you waited to the very end of the video because i'm going to give you a link it's called assetclass101.com and you need to inbox me for the password but at the end of taking this course you're going to understand a lot about building wealth including the obstacles to building wealth and the secrets to income shifting but definitely inbox me so we can uh, build this legacy together i know everybody has different financial goals and that's exactly what I'm here to do is help put you in a position where you can change the status quo for your family. Other than that, guys, thanks for checking me out. And you can find out more information as well about me at jerrygoins.com. Take care.